Hello friends, welcome to Subnautica, Early Access with your host, Ron of the Bold. So I played this game back that way like a few months ago, or when it first 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 came out. I think I did a couple I did a couple videos on it, but they've added so much content and they finally got the uh, survival kind of balanced, so it's not the horrible, horrible grind it was uh, at the very beginning. And I figured, you know what? It's time for a playthrough. So we're gonna do a let's play. I'm going to guess probably somewhere around, I don't know, 15 to 20 episodes, something something like that. Uh, just basically get a time to build everything out, build a nice base, build the big sub, build the, you know, kind of get all the stuff together. And do a decent amount of exploring of the wrecks and all that kind of stuff. So if you, if you aren't familiar with this game, basically it is a uh, survival exploration crafting game set on an alien planet in an ocean. Uh, it is really, really cool. It looks gorgeous graphics. Uh, gameplay is really smooth. And they've really started to polish the game and give it a lot of depth and content. So, figured no time like the present. We're going to go ahead and do uh, survival. So we do have to find resources, manage our, our thirst, hunger, and oxygen. Um, so, it's going to be cool. I'm not quite ready to do a hardcore one because death it does happen so we're gonna do a new game and they've just added they just recently added a cool new crash sequence which hopefully we'll be able to see here come along with us on this journey okay load faster Drop in! Three, two, one. I can see a ship above you there. Oh! Wrecked. So we don't know what caused the incident. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Miss me, miss me, miss me! Whoa! It did not miss me. And we started the game dead. I don't know, fire! Yeah, let's grab that fire thing as fast as we can. Alright, grab that. Get this fire out. All right, fire is out. We are now stranded on an unknown world. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. To assist you in <laughs> Thank further you. survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, well. and holds other valuable information. So we've been hurt a little bit. We're hungry, a little thirsty. So we start the game off. We can go ahead and uh, store this thing. We're gonna just put that over here. We've got some food and water. We have two nutrient blocks and some water as well. So uh, we can fall back on those, but we want to try and, as much as possible, live off the land. Um, so. All right, life. Three three hours since planet falls. So we can actually ascend the uh, ladder, get up on top of the pod. You see the aurora over there, and it is gonna go kaboo kaboo bloom at some point here. All right. Oh look, Debris or flying fishes. I've actually never noticed them before. I never spend that much time looking up at the sky. Cool. Anyway, there's our or orbiting twin planet. Should cause some massive tides. All right. So the way this works, uh, we need to get a few uh, basic things going really quickly. We need to get food, water, and uh, then we can start collecting the components that we need to manufacture things. So we've got on our craft, we've got this workbench right here. This is the fabricator, which will allow us to convert 
uh, basically it's a matter assembler dissembler that takes existing elements and reassembles them in different patterns. So we need to collect the right kinds of resources for it to uh, do that. So first thing is, all this material on here, in case you guys don't know, this is salvage, and this is all titanium. You can process each one of these, gives you four titanium. I don't really need a lot of titanium right now, so I'll just grab a few of those. Um, we are going to need some, we'll grab a couple. They take up four spots in our inventory. These guys are awesome looking. All the fish are just amazing. All right. This stuff is salt. You need that in order to make... Emergency. 10 right. seconds of oxygen remain. You got to watch that oxygen meter at the top there. And we're going to extend that as soon as we can with oxygen tanks. So we can swim a little farther. Now, these guys are... Boop! I got you. Ha ha. This is a peeper. Come here. I want more of you peepers. Oops, some quartz. We got that. Need quartz to make glass, which I'll need to make. Come on. Boomerang, got you. Those big guys I can't eat. Now this is... Break it, and I picked up some titanium. Each one of these limestone nords has different ore in them. Copper, in that case. And I do want to get a good assortment of copper kind of right off the bat. Um, that's going to let me allow me to make a few important things. Air sac, I'll take you. And I'm going to grab two battery or two, three, four of those guys. We need, we need those. Those are acid mushrooms. Oh, that was, that was kind of trippy. Now I'm hoping to get some more copper here. Titanium, I'll take it, but I prefer some copper. There we go. I have to get maybe one more of these guys. That's what we're going to eat right after the bat is those fishes. And as you can see, as you get the deeper, there's different biomes. And each biome has different uh, creatures that live in it. Uh, it's usually at deeper depths. And there Emergence. are going to be different, Ten seconds of oxygen different dangers that we'll encounter. And also, as you go deeper, it is a... Um, uh, more, hello there, grab you, uh, more, uh, you, air is consumed faster the deeper you go, just like in real life diving. Oh, my inventory is almost full, I think. Right, we'll swim back to our base. How are we doing in space? Oh, we got a little bit of space left. Good. Grab that. Grab some more glass. Um, you have to be careful. You see that thing that's opened up there? Those are dangerous. They will basically come at you and explode and cause damage to you. So you want to avoid those guys. You have to be careful when you go in caves to set those guys off. Right. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab them. A bit more and we have just six more items that we can hold. I'd like to get some more salt, really. Now, nighttime is slightly more dangerous out as far as critters get a little more active, but it's easier to see things like the quartz, like this stuff here, and also salt crystals. Ah, but there's nope, that's emergency. Oh, Ten good. seconds of oxygen remaining. We're good, we're good. Dang, I really want some more salt. I need salt in order to make, um, in order to make water. But in this case, we are out of luck. I've lost my pod. There's my pod. All right. Let's go ahead and hop up in here. All right. So first things first. Uh, we're hungry, so let's go ahead and cook up. So these are your different building areas. You've got your resources, which are broken into basic, advanced, and electronics. Attention. Your cooking. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend uh -oh. is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. Okay. So we can make water. 
we can use filtered water. We can use those those air sacs we got. Air sacs are those kind of diaphanous uh, floaty fish that we saw. So we can go ahead and just turn that into water. Do a couple of those. And now we can do some cooked food. I can make boomerangs and cooked peepers. Let's go ahead and... We're going to eat something. Hang on. And a boomerang. I think we have two boomerangs we can eat. So each fish has different um, uh, qualities, cooked and raw. So if we look just quickly here, so we've got a uh, cooked boomerang and we've got a, a regular boomerang. You can see a regular boomerang, uncooked, is food 12, water minus 3. Cooked boomerang is food 21, water plus 3. Peeper is really good, 31. Eat all those guys. Now, um, they do go bad. All right? So this food will be, will start going bad uh, very quickly and thus make it uh, not good quality to eat. So I'm going to eat that. I'm going to go ahead and create some titanium out of that metal savage we got. So we get four titaniums. <laughs> So we had quite a few titaniums. I think we had five pieces. So that gives us a really good start on titanium. Now we can also make some glass. Um, we can actually make a couple glasses. I think, make, I think I picked up like three or four pieces of cords. Now look at the power. So the power is running low. It does recharge itself automatically. Um, and now on a personal, I want to make a water tank, an oxygen tank. That's going to add 30 seconds of dive time, which will be nice. And you can actually have as many as you want. It just keeps adding up. The next thing I want is a knife. And for a knife, I think I need to get... Where's my tools? Uh, I need some silicon rubber. And in order to get silicon rubber, you can go up here to your basic materials. Look for our silicon rubber. I need creep fine seed clusters in order to make that. So we're going to have to find some creep fine seed clusters. So... Uh, let's go ahead and drop a bunch of this stuff, this copper ore. Actually, let me keep the copper. I'm going to make our batteries while I'm thinking about it. Put all that stuff over there in the container. And then we're going to make, it's an uh, electronics, we're going to make a couple batteries. Which are made from copper and uh, acid mushrooms one to two ratio okay we're gonna need those fairly soon so i figured had the stuff might as well make it all right so you can see that old cook boomerang how quickly it went bad so let's go ahead and nom that right now so it doesn't go any more worse all right now as long as you're in their food in your in your thing and not cooked they seem to stay good for a long time all right, it is nighttime now, so it's going to be darker outside when we go down. So be prepared for it to be a bit darker. Now, creep vine clusters. We need to find creep vine, and I see some over there. So what we're looking for are, you see those glowy bits? That's what we're looking for. And I also see some salt. Let's grab that. Oh. It's, remember, I was telling you, you can see things a lot easier when you're... <clears throat> Nighttime. Like that guy. An Ayak. And that guy's bad. We don't really want to be involved in his life. Let's grab that. How many did we get? Okay, no, fuck off. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Don't bother us. We're not bothering you. Uh, it's it, it requires a little bit of thought and maintenance, but not a terrible amount. Now, this these can actually replenish your oxygen if you're right over them when they bubble up. See that? Which is really kind of cool. Uh, they and they can be found at all levels. So. 
those, those they can be good ways. Let me get my knife out now. And you can kill these things. I'll get some more titanium while I'm thinking about it. Okay, what I'd like to get is like. Come on. Now things are randomized. Um, all right, let's go ahead and we're gonna make another silicone rubber. Gotta watch that power because I really want to make um, some fins, which will let me swim faster. Yay! And let's see, what do I need next? Uh, the next thing I really want to make is what's called a scanner. So you get a scanner, requires a battery and two titanium, which we easily have got. Now it's going to let me um, scan things, <laughs> which yeah, obviously it makes it sound like it, but it is. And also a, a computer chip and a battery. So a computer chip requires a table coral sample, silver ore, okay, and another battery. And we've got two batteries made. So what I need to do is I need to grab, actually, let's go ahead and turn. I need, I know we're going to need some lubricant at some point. So I'll keep one of those and then we're going to make, um, some fiber mesh and we're going to make titanium out that titanium we've got. And then let's store, we want the battery. We want one of the batteries. What am I thinking? What am, what am I thinking about building? I'm building a scanner. Beautiful. All right. So basically all around the world, there are going to be uh, these boxes that are basically pieces of components of the ship that have fallen into the ocean. And if we scan them, uh, we will unlock the technology. So generally you've got to scan three of anything in order to unlock it. So we'll be looking for those items as we, as we run along. Um, I'm going to grab some glass and we're going to build a starter base just to get ourselves a place to kind of call home. Warning, local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Well, that don't sound good at all. Carry fish. We'll eat you later. All right, I'm still looking, still looking. Emergency. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor uh -oh. will reach a super The ship's blowing. Let's get, see if we can eight see it minus happen. 10, 9, 8, uh -oh. 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two. Whoa! Holy shit! Whoa! Holy crap, ship is done! Done for! Radiation is spiking! Danger! Danger, Will Robbins! All right, and believe it or not, I am still looking for silver. Um, this uh, start has had the worst limestone in this area, at least, that I've ever run across. Um, so it makes me it makes me a bit nervous. I almost considered I almost considered restarting just to see if I can get more limestone. But oh, look, it's a thing. This is something we can scan. 
A Cyclops engine fragment. Awesome. The Cyclops is the main big uh, ship that we can get. We need three parts for the hull, three parts for the engine, and I can't remember the other piece. Controls or power plant. Uh, I don't recall. Things. <gasps> That's a whole fragment, I think. We got. We got to try and scan it. These guys are gonna want to dispute that. Come on, scan, scan. Sweet. ourselves out of here. But I'm still looking for my freaking silver. So we're going to keep uh, yeah, you just mind your own business there, buddy. Alright, so I'll, I'll uh, once again, I'll be back when I <gasps> more! More parts! Hold on. Let's grab this. That's amazing. I've got the Cyclops engine before I found silver. Wow. Oh, look, over there. There. See that little box? So these boxes are... Come on. They're beautiful. Are, are the other pieces. Normally you don't have those big, huge chunks. It's usually more of a minor little thing. So we're going to have to go... I'm going to swim back down and get that one. I think I saw one over there as well. So that's kind of awesome. But there's so many things I need before that... But I'll take what I get. I'll definitely take what I get here. They're out in the open. So maybe get the propulsion cannon, which is used for... Oh, bioreactor. Okay, good. That's a power source for the station. Let's grab. We get the bioreactor. There's two more things right there, too. If you get more than than you need, you get titanium instead, which is kind of cool. So they don't really need more. Yeah, you know, obviously, I don't need more bioreactor pieces. Propulsion cannon fragments. Sweet. Right, I don't see. Oh, as you can tell, I made another. I, ma I went ahead and made another. Uh, ah, perfect. Two more. I made another uh, scuba air, uh, air tank. Stasis rifle fragment. Holy crap, I'm getting great stuff. I don't have any of the basics yet. <laughs> Warning. Right. 30 seconds of oxygen I'm going up, remaining. I'm going up. I'm going to call you Gwen. Ah, I think that's another engine piece. So many cool things to find right here. Now these things kind of pop when you come out of the ground. See how it pop like that? Hull fragment. Need three of those obviously to make the hull. That's cool. Oh, oh, what's oh it's just regular. That's just a fragment. Darn it, darn it, darn it. And yet, limestone is incredibly rare. There are some there. Come on, be silver, be silver, be silver. Titanium. Fuck you, titanium. It's in our box. What do we got here? Mobile vehicle bay. Sweet! This is where I used to make uh, subs and stuff. <gasps> awesome! My last playthrough took me forever to find the parts I... Uh, to Warning. find those. 30 seconds of oxygen you can remaining. scan these too long we're going up. And generally you can... Oh, look, there's one right there. I bet that's another piece. So that'll let me make the... Uh, different uh, craft 
I see another one over there too. So yeah, I'm finding all this stuff before I even find the basics. Yep, there we go, perfect. Mobile vehicle bay. Seamoth, okay, that's the first of the one person uh, sub I need. Sweet. Come on, one more piece of that. Perfect, we got Seamoth. That is going to be awesome. So we can get our, our Seamoth going. I don't know if we need silver for it. Oh, shit. A little close. As long as you don't bother them too much, they don't seem to be too bad. Now, I have no idea how... I've been swimming for a long time. So I've got no idea how close we are uh, to our station anymore. I mean, we've been swimming... I've been swimming for a long time. Yeah, it's way over there. But still, not the simple, simple limestone. It's really, just really rare. So I would say, if you guys are going to start a game, um, if you, in the few, first few minutes, if you don't spot a good assortment of limestone, I would really recommend restarting. Because it makes a huge difference. I'll drop this table coral. Copper. Whoa, nope, don't, uh, don't get me out of me. Hunting, hunting, hunting. This area seems to have a pretty good amount of them. Titanium, though. Like I said generally you'll find it deeper. There we go, silver. All right, let's go back. Uh, when I get back, we'll be at the at the station, and we'll uh, wrap things up. All right, so we made it back to the base. And we're really freaking thirsty, so I think right off the bat we're gonna have to drink some water. Vital signs stabilizing. And do I need more? Got a table coral. Gotta cook some of this, some of these yummy things up here. Oops. Unless you're gonna make it secured, we'll let it not rot in your inventory. So you just need salt to do that. Pick a Gary fish up. Hey Gary, what's up, fish man? And uh, I'll do one air sack as well. All right, now let's nom these guys. All right, let's go ahead and eat the air sack too. I think he's uh. Need all the victuals we can get. All right, guys, we'll wrap it up there. When we come back, we're gonna build the um, the habitat constructor, and we'll start our first habitat. Um, won't be our primary base, but it'll be a good starter base. Uh, we, you know, we'll see how it goes. We may, we may make it our primary base. We'll see. Anyway, for now, it's been Ron with Bolt. Hope you guys are enjoying Subnautica, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.